Hey guys, and welcome back to State of Decay. Of course, when we finished last time, there was still more to play. Now Prey has finished, let's head into State of Decay Lifeline, which I believe we play as a military. Now, I have never played this before. Also, I have switched up my audio recording software. Um, I'm kind of... I want to move away from Shadowplay, and I'm going to use OBS. So, this video is going to be a short experiment uh, with OBS. Um, I want to actually have an active effort to master this software. So, I just want one software suite that I can use for everything. Anyway, let's see what happens. Quite excited. Um, I got really excited when this actually originally came out back on the 360, but for whatever reason, I never played it. So, let's go. Start a new game. I gotta remember the controls now. I remember the controls in this game are a little bit janky. But hopefully, everything should be fine. It's gonna be weird playing as the military, I think. Hopefully, we're gonna have better equipment. Stay back. We will open fire. Alright. Diplomacy's over. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Over a dozen hostiles. We need orders. Dog house. Your ROE is kill all hostiles. Kill all hostiles? That we can Just do. Right I like this rifle we have. Uh, can you get off my squad mate, please? A little bit something like. Oh, shit. They're still alive. Why is there only like three of us here? You realize these were people, right? Emphasis on word. Exactly. Greyhound went to doghouse. We're still here. We had to abandon our vehicle. Medevac is ready to go, but right now, Greyhound 2 is busy fucking up my LZ. <laughs> Get over there and secure that extraction point. Yes, we're boss. Be rescuing anybody if we can't even land a damn helo. Doghouse out. I'm a fan of this weapon. Right, you heard the man. Let's move like we got a purpose, boys. Uh, okay, I don't know where we put our rifle. Let's just assume it's gone somewhere good. You have new events in your journal. Push up to open your journal. So, we're Hawks. Oh my god, her name is similar to mine. I approve. So, made a bad call in the heat of battle that cost lives. Was never officially blamed for the incident, but what can't let here? go of it. I didn't join the army to Damn. Americans, man. Americans? <laughs> Not shooting Americans. Their passports when they joined the living dead. Exactly, like Vince. Recruited, Vince. They fucking died. So keep that trash talking bullshit up your ass where it belongs. Somebody's got something up here. Hang on. So Dr. you Vincent, do you think the end of the world needs wise asses or soldiers? Soldiers, man. Well, if you see one, you let me know. Yeah, I don't know what his problem is. Like, why is everybody so shocked when they see zombies? I mean, come on. It's pretty obvious that they are dead. You know, the whole decaying stench gives it away. If people I knew turned into zombies, I would shoot them in the face. Because they're dead. They're zombies. Their soul has left their body. At least, we assume that would be the case anyway. It'd be a little bit awkward if they were aware of what they were doing. I'm not saying that shooting your friend in the face is a good idea. For the majority of the time. But if they're zombies, then it's kind of a free pass, really. Are we like some old woman? I think we are. Some old general. That's fine. General Mayhem. Where the hell are we going? Looks like we're going miles. Oh man! It's a complete... Whoa! It's a completely different map. Oh, cool. Okay. So is this set after or before the main game? I have no idea. But one thing I do know is there's not many zombies here. Now, what does that three mean at the bottom of our radar there? I guess we're about to find out. Well, the shit has already left the... Well, hit the fan. Can we... Oh, we can. We can grab a car. Let's grab a car, guys. We're we running around here like suckers when we can just mount up in one of these bad boys. Uh, it looks like the fire brigade didn't uh, fare very well. Come on, guys. Um, hey, bud. There you go. Nope. You're not in? You can... You can walk if you like. You can walk. You, you're not going to get in? You're thinking about it. 
Have a good long hard think, mate. We've got all the time in the world. See you later, buddy. Whoops. You you gonna change your mind now? You're just gonna stand there, aren't you, whilst we drive off into the sunset. Well, enjoy your death, sir. Ah, uh, we have to go back for him. Look, get in the fucking vehicle. You gonna get in? There we go. Bloody hell. What the hell's wrong with this guy? Alright, so we've got... Ha oh yeah, the door attack. We've got zombies down there. Well, we're not going to fight any unnecessary Zeds if we can help it. Let's just get to where we need to go. Easy now. LZ is under attack. This get in there and help them. We're not landing a helo on those Zeds. No. That probably wouldn't go very well. Alright, boys. Let's see if we can mince them up with this. Well, they don't seem to be too interested in our car. Which is unfortunate. Alright, come on, boys. Let's go bust some skulls. It is. I wonder why all these Zeds were running around. Uh, boys, you've got, like, a zombie next to you. Really? Okay, these guys are as dumb as they look. Welcome to the party. Oh, have a man down. Let's go pull this boy out of the fire if we can. There we go. Right. So what weapon do we have? We have some kind of clubby device. I'm a fan. Alright, let's go get them, boys. Oh, there's a couple of them. Shit. And there's also a fence there. Isn't helping me out too well. Uh-oh. Things are going to get worse. Get off me. I need my neck for neck-like things. That's some good work there, lads. Right. Need to harden this position. That we can do. Greyhound 2. I thought we lost it. You never call. You never write. It's just the two of us now. I don't even know what happened to my comms. Everything went down so fast. This whole mission is assed up. <laughs> we dug in here like they said, but these bastards got in here anyway. Well, let's see what we can do. Aaron right held things morning. together. I'm sure you're at the LZ. Finally, I got a helo en route. Get on the road and pick up that high value asset before we have to go wheels up. Roger, right. you have our position. Tell the bird to land inside the fence and get the doctor on board. Roger that. Maybe one thing will go right today. Doghouse out. Well, if we talk law of averages, eventually something's bound to go right. That's what I keep telling myself. Now, so here's the radio comms unit. All right, pretty nice. So this is our base, barracks. Pretty swanky. Uh, thank you. Not quite sure why she wasn't opening the door there. Maybe she doesn't like the uh, the Y button. We've got a nice fence around here. However, we do know Zeds are pretty damn adept at getting over these fences. Well, it ain't much, but it's home. Hopefully we can do something magical with it. Right, let's saddle up, boys. We've got places to go, people to see. High-valued st- Ooh, hello. You guys can get over there way too easily. Luckily, I was waiting. That's some good work there, lad. Right, let's have a little look at our character. Oh, we're sniper qualified. Went through intensive training in marksmanship and decision making that defines a qualified sniper. Commanding officer, in command of this entire... Ah! So we are... We're the boss. Ideal. Very good um, character sheet here. Master of the pistols, master of revolvers, master of rifles. Um, okay, cool. So we've got we've started with a bit of skill, as you'd imagine. Focus aim, intense concentration makes the world around you slow down to a crawl as you line up the perfect shot. Whilst aiming, push LB. Okay, that's useful. 
All right, ladies. You want to like, live forever? Let's go. If only we had some kind of military vehicle. Sorry, bud. I guess it just wasn't your day. Hey, pal. Now, I'm assuming vehicles are going to be quite rare. Well, not rare, but in limited quantity as before. Would be nice to have some military hardware, though. Still, this thing will suffice for now. I am a fan of playing as the military, I'm going to be honest. And it's so cool to see a new map. I've seen worse. What used to be a helicopter? Oh, hello. Get off. Uh, I'm going to have to scrape you off, aren't I? Squidge. Oh, that thing. We're at the objective. The helo is a wreck. No visual on the asset. I want headshots on all tangos, standing or otherwise. Headshots? You might want to fight him off, mate. Well, I'm not promising headshots, but I'll see what I can do. Damn you, you fucking zombie bastard. Ah, we have a military vehicle there. Boys, we're about to get an upgrade. Zombie go squish. Alright. Let's go, guys. area is uh, pretty fucked up. Do we have a suppressor? How do we get into inventory? I can't remember now. That's the map. Oh yeah. We don't have a suppressor. Thanks game. I see him. Yeah hey, buddy. Let me introduce you to my friend. Nice. That's some good work there, buddy. Now, any more Zeds? Hey, this AA looks clean to me. There's Zeds in the buildings. These guys were soldiers. You still think this is funny, Vince? No, Sergeant. Ooh. No way. Doug, hey, buddy. Count one. We're showing that asset is not at your position. Confirmed, sir. No one here matches the ID. Alive or dead. Well then, uh, expand your search to the surrounding buildings. Yes, sir. Greyhound one out. Listen Interesting. Up. Search these so who are we friends. looking for? So check your fire. Look, these guys aren't soldiers anymore. All right, they're they're zombies. Hello. And if you forget that, you're gonna have a bad time. Looks empty now. That Found nothing. All right, guys, look alive. I'm going to have to source some materials. Oh, there's a couple of them. There we go. I wonder if we have to deal with the Black Death in this game as well. I'd imagine so. Oh, very nice. Very nice indeed. We will make a mental note of that. Although we don't need to because it's on the map. Watch the front. How do we... Do the slow down aim thing. I have no idea. I thought the slow. Oh, we got a big fella coming in. Right, well. Let's be as quick as we can, boys. We don't want to be here forever. At least we can level our character up quite a bit here. I'm already liking this main character woman. She's pretty cool. Ooh, level level two fighting. I would have thought she would have been at least a level four. Alright. Come on, boys. Let's go search. Ooh, hello. Hello. You must be Dr. Thomas Horn. We're here to get you out. Uh, I'm not sure that I should. Doghouse actual to Greyhound 1. That helicopter is moments from your position. We need you to move. Roger. We're loading up the asset now. Oh, thank God. I mean, <clears throat> that's good news, Greyhound. Uh, oh, hell. Screamer. Over here. The sooner you get him in the air, the sooner we can Shut up. Get the fuck out. Now go. Are we actually getting the fuck out? Or are you making me promises? Zed, on your right. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's cool, it's cool. It's all gravy. Let's grab the decent car. Load up, guys. Let's get the frick out of here. Fuck the Zeds. We want to keep this bad boy in 
It's good condition. Ah, actually, we could load up the uh, equipment. Yeah, 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 I already remember about the whole loading up stuff. Uh, where was that equipment stored? In here. Right, guys, make yourself useful. Grab a handful of this stuff. I have a feeling we're going to need it. Yes, all right. Well, if you're not going to help me load the cargo, you can help me defend the place. Or you can watch my ass. Nice. There we go. Building materials. Yeah, guys, the Zeds, remember? I'd forgotten how good the AI is in this game. Did I say good? Right. Um, pop you in there. Let's ride, boys. We have what we came for. We have a doctor and an arse load of bricks. Let's just hope they're not the freshly laid variety. Oh, a horde. Hey, boys. Wrong time to uh, spawn. Squish. Right, we'll have you home in just a jiffy. Although, home really isn't much at the moment. It's uh, a useless wall, essentially, that lets zombies in. It's almost like a cage. Um, where's the parking space here? Or do we not have one yet? Maybe we don't have one yet. Right, let's get these guys. Come on, lads. Line up. There we go. Give you a little peck on the cheek. Squish and splat. Right, well, that's going to have to do for now. We're just going to have to remember there are materials in here. Right, here's our friendo. He's a little bit wounded, by the way. I'm sure that's of no importance. Alright. The doctor. Where are you taking me? Out of here. I mean, does it really matter? We're taking you to HQ. Apparently, your research is our best hope for curing this thing. Let me spell it out. I'm infected. One of those things bit me. I'm a dead man. You're wasting your time. I'm not here to decide who's a waste of time. I'm here to get you out. What if I turn while we're airborne? Attack the pilot. Bring us all down. What good did I do then? Hey, whoa! My time is oh, up. Oh, hell. Use your helicopter to save somebody else. Doctor, no! <laughs> oh. Um. So well, at least... I guess we call off the medevac. At least he was thinking sense. Now what are we going to do? Yeah, I don't think they're going to pull our ass out of the fire if we're not worth... We have a lot of dead soldiers here, sir. We're now securing all weapons we can find. Well, it's too fucking late now, isn't it? Why don't you just hand your rifles over to the Zed? Save us all some trouble. Sir, what's the plan now? Just stand by while I unfuck this problem you created. Sir, <laughs> this entire area is exposed to the enemy. Our ammo won't last forever. Shore up your position, soldier. As long as you don't fuck it up any worse, we can keep you supplied by air. Ooh, I like Stand that. Stand by and don't let anyone else die. Doghouse out. Hey, no promises. How bad is it out there? Pretty bad. Build trust with other soldiers. Invite them to accompany you on missions. What? Hey, I'm in command here. I don't need to build up trust. Just need to slap people about a bit. Shout at them. That's how it works, right? Okay, well. Um, okay, too many hordes. So, what have we got? Intercept the zombie horde. Why? Why would we intercept the zombie horde? Over there, that's nowhere near our base. Um, home army base. Well, let's go pull our resources back. As I don't think we actually have a parking spot yet. I'm hoping that gets fixed, because we kind of need one. Time for a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our drop point here? So we can't ah there we go. 
So what gear do we have? Let's go get the other gear and see if we can actually start reinforcing this place. We have got a tower there, which is quite nice. But we can't do too much with the tower just yet. Considering there's only three of us. Now I wonder if we actually find civilians or if we're just going to find military guys. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, don't worry about helping me or anything, guys. It's fine. I've got this. I've got this. One second, guys. And let's actually unmute my microphone. That's probably a good idea. Um, set up a field workshop. Set up a medical, physical, barracks. A latrine. Okay. So it looks like we've got a lot we can do here. Ah, there are two car parking spaces there. And the landing zone. Set up a proper landing zone so we call in supplies and equipment from the outside. That's probably a really good idea. Let's get this place ship shape. It's actually very cheap to just restore all of this, so let's do that. Okay, cool. We can set up some outposts. Perimeter defenses. Restock all. Replenish the mines, propane tanks, and fireworks at the same time. Alright. That's cool. So, we don't have a lot of gear. We could probably benefit from getting some food. Alright, so that's all set up again. Help get some supplies back to base. Supply run with... You know what? That's a pretty good idea. New facility. Use your op center to assign. Oh, okay. Right. So what can we do? Supply lines. Whilst this order is active, soldiers will constantly scavenge for small amounts of supplies. And oh, that's nice. Thin the herd. Whilst this order is active, soldiers will hunt. Okay. Search and rescue. Search. That. Ooh. More bodies is always good, but let's get some supplies first. Okay. What does that require? Requires electricity. Okay. Uh, oh, we can make military rations, which is nice, and make coffee. Oh, cool. All right, a bit of a fan of that. We can upgrade the supply room, which we don't really need to do at the moment. What is our max storage? We might have to look into that in a minute. Um, we've got no vehicles parked. So this just costs... Okay. This costs influence. Life-saving supplies. So I Simple survival package, just enough to keep us going. Survival drop. Package of life-saving supplies, including food and medicine, munitions, and a weapons drop. Let's go for a survival drop, because we can afford it. Okay. So we probably want to build a generator if we can. Ah, look at this. There's two kill zones. Let's restock everything there and restock everything there. We are battering through our supplies, but that's what they're there for. Uh, no actions available at the comms facility, which is interesting. Right, if we've got a chopper inbound, search and rescue. Um, field workshop, medic, physical training. We've got a barracks. A latrine is probably really, really useful right now. Kind of want the latrine as far away as possible. And a generator uses fuel. We don't have enough fuel. Ah, oh, we need a workshop for that. Okay, so let's set up a field workshop. Let's set up a latrine. And we shall set up a generator. There we go. I'm putting together a list of people who work with Dr. Horn. People who knew his research and might be able to make a difference. If any of them are alive, then maybe we can still salvage this thing. Just tell us where to go. First up is his ex-wife, Julene Horn. She's a surgeon at University Medical. She was being ground evac'd on the other side of town. But the way the highways are jammed up, we think she's stranded. Get to her last known location, That's not good. her down, and bring her in. 
Doghouse out. Right, you have orders from HQ. You don't have to follow them right now, but if you wait too long... Ah, okay. Right, guys. Well, I'm going to have to end this video here because uh, I have to go to work. And I've just noticed my uh, wall clock has stopped. Huh. How about that? Right. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. When we come back, well, I guess we're going to go pull um, this woman out of the fire. Hopefully, you know, what's the worst that could happen? Till then, guys, thanks for watching.